Hello there, running ears. It's Manny. And yes, I'm making this video on a Sunday because guess what? One year from today, today's date, uh, hopefully all of you guys, including myself, will be running and finishing the return of the Disneyland half marathon weekend. So there's going to be um, a 5K, a 10K, a half. That Everything's coming pretty soon. I'm actually wearing my very first Dumbo Double Dare shirt. 2013, which I, I did, and the 28, uh, 2008, which was my very first run Disney event, period, which I did at Disneyland, and then I switched over a couple years later to Disney World and have been running both until they stopped in uh, 2018, I believe was, uh, 2017 was the last year they did it, and so, but what I wanted to do today was, because there's a lot of newbies out there and a lot of us need refresher course. I, I actually started looking at old videos, old pictures, and so forth, so I can remember what was going on. So I, I came up with three things that we know for sure are gonna happen at Disneyland uh, that we know for a fact, and then five things that are basically, uh, they ha questions that haven't been answered. So I'll go over everything, but before, as usual, guys, you've been doing an amazing job. Keep, keep subscribing to the channel. You guys are asking questions. A lot of these videos are based on the questions that you ask, the feedback that you give. So continue doing that because I will answer this. And yes, I will talk about a princess sometime this week because we got princess coming up also. So we got a lot of stuff going on. So let's get started. So at the end of the video, and I'll remind you later on, also I am going to post all the medals from all the Disneyland runs uh, including ones that I didn't do, but uh, which was Tinkerbell, but uh, I'll, I'll go over that at the very end so you guys can see the theming, which is something we'll cover. But as of now, we want we have three things that we know for a fact that are going on in Disneyland 2024. We'll start off with the first one. We know for a fact that Disneyland 2024 will consist of three runs, a 5K, a 10K, and a half a marathon, starting on next year, January 12th, 13th, and 14th, and so, and there will be a challenge. So we do know that, that is uh, number one, and now let's move on to number two. So number two is we know when registration is going to be. Registration for you, those of you who are Club Run Disney is February 7th of next month, so we are coming up pretty quickly. One week later is open registration for the general public, so that is February 14th, happy Valentine's Day. And three days later, February 17th, is the virtual, uh, the, the, it's when you can sign up for the virtual runs for the Disneyland Half Marathon. And now the only, uh, the third thing that we do know is that it's gonna be part of a coast to coast. And I'll go over what coast to coast is for those of you who don't know or need a refresher course. Uh, I actually do have coast to coast shirts, which I will eventually wear because, of course, I'm going to go over these topics over and over and over uh, until we get there. But uh, there is five things that we need to talk about that we don't know. So let's get started on those. So first off is going to be the theming of, of the Disneyland run. Now, I kind of looked at everything and I've been uh, watching social media and is it going to be this, this, this or this, whatever it is. Now, they are calling it the Disneyland. And that was the original one. So anybody, any of you who don't know or are not familiar with it, in the mid-1990s, I believe 1995, they actually held a marathon there. And then it kind of transitioned to where it was just a half marathon there. And then um, uh, 2013 was the first time they did the challenge. And then they kept the challenge. Uh, it was called Dumbo Double Dare for the first uh, four years, I believe. The last year was just called the Double Dare. And so then they, they canceled them. The official word was because the building of Star Wars land, they were about to start building a hotel. So there was, and if you notice, there's going to be limited space, which I'll go over in a little bit. So the theming was Disneyland. So uh, the key component was the marathon. And again, at the very end, I'm going to show the medals. And there was a distinct D, the Disneyland, which is a little bit different than the Disney World D and they had that on a lot of the medals. And that was actually really cool. So what other runs did they have besides the Disneyland run with the Double Dare and Dumbo Double Dare? They had Star Wars, they had Tinkerbell, and they had Avengers. So any of those are up for debate. 
I even think they might do a combination uh, of those runs, maybe one of each. Um, but I will give out my predictions at the very end. But again, what do you think? Is it going to be a wild card? Because the last uh, year or so, they did have Pixar themings. So will they go back to Pixar themings? And uh, again, there's going to be a lot of wild cards. Uh, they're, they're going to have the 100th anniversary going on. So do you think they're going to do something with the, the 100th anniversary? So the medals will be the castle and the 100th anniversary, something like that. We will be finding out soon. This is one of the reasons I'm doing this video now because I have a feeling in the next week or two, we will see the theming, but wanted to get it out there to, so you guys can get excited about the possibility. So number one is theming. We're going to learn about the theming. Number two is the expo. The expo is a lot different over there because they don't have the facilities that they do at the ESPN Wild World of Sports. So if you guys have done it, then you know what's going on. If you don't, it's usually at the Disneyland Hotel and it's on the bottom level. And you have to come around the backside. You kind of go down, you go in there, you collect your bib. They got an, uh, an area for, uh, for merchandise, uh, again, just like anything else. But besides that, do I think they're gonna do a virtual queue? Is that gonna be an option? Maybe. And so again, that's something that's gonna be different that they'll talk about. That one won't be released until a lot later, but we'll get to know a little bit more about the Expo probably in about 11 months. Another one, uh, so number three, the one that we are gonna find out sooner than later, it has to be soon, is the pricing. What are gonna be the prices of the, the Disneyland uh, half marathon weekend, the 5K, the 10K, the half and the challenge? My guess is if you look at Princess, it's gonna be a lot, uh, uh, it's gonna be similar to that. So I would have these numbers in mind. So a 5K is probably gonna be about $100, maybe probably a little bit more than that. The 10K is gonna be about 150-ish. So again, start putting that number in your head. I think it's gonna be roughly about that. The half marathon is gonna be about 225, 230. So roughly about that and the challenge is going to be about four hundred dollars and again the challenge uh, uh, only has the 10k and the half so the 10k half so you get three shirts three medals so that's that's the whole thing about that so basically i'm, I'm basing it on what the princess is, is is going to be this year and i think it's going to be similar um do i think that they might uh, toy with the prices a little bit because of the situation which we're about to get into the courses possibly it might be a little bit cheaper I still think there's going to be around there if it's going to be, I, I would go in uh, give or take 10%, but roughly that should be about what you should expect to pay for these runs. So it brings us to number four, which is something we're not going to find out again for about 11 months, but you can mentally start preparing for this and that is the courses. So the courses for the 5k is a basic. You're going to be running in both parks in the downtown Disney area. And that's basically where you run. The 10K, you do run a little bit outside, but the, the, the streets are right there. So you can enter right back in. So it's not a big deal. You're not going out really outside of the Disneyland area. Once you get to the half marathon, there is two distinct courses that they have. They can vary a little bit, but there's two distinct courses. One goes through Anaheim Stadium where the California Angel or the uh, the California Angels, the Angels of Los Angeles, whatever they're called now, but it's a baseball stadium. It's a major league baseball stadium, so it's humongous. It's really, really cool. Uh, what happens is you run in through one of the sides, you run all the way in the outfield, come out through the other side, but uh, you will see yourself on the Jumbotron. There's been times when names are up there, they announce names, so it's pretty cool little, little thing that, that's added to the runs. So that's a really, really cool thing that they do. Uh, the other one is you run through downtown Anaheim. I've seen a lot of people complain about this one. I, I'm on the opposite. I loved it and this is why. There's a lot of cosplay uh, people that dress up in whatever the theming is and they're out there and they're cheering us on. And to be honest with you, I think and, and anybody who knows me and you watch these videos, cheerleading is awesome. Those cheerleaders are awesome. So guess what? There's a lot of people cheering us on. When it's themed like Star Wars or Avengers, there's more people dressed up like that. It, it's really, really cool. I don't mind it, uh, but again, at the very end, I'll go through what I think the predictions of what's gonna happen. But there's again, two distinct courses there. 
it, and uh, just FYI also, uh, along the same line as courses, it's probably gonna be cold at that time. So just remember that it's gonna be a little bit colder than average, especially, uh, uh, and you're not gonna have the high humidity, so it's probably gonna stay that cold. So that's gonna be something to consider. And number five is the coast to coast. So coast to coast, and I promised that you I was gonna talk to you about it. Coast to coast was when you ran on both coasts within the same calendar year. So the way that they're doing this is they have the Walt Disney World Marathon a week before then the Disneyland half marathon a week later. So that's the completes the coast to coast. Now, the one thing that has not been said is will they honor it, which I think they will, but I'm not sure how they're going to do it. If you sign up for just the Disneyland half marathon and not the Disney World marathon weekend, but then uh, what is that? A, a month and a half later, you sign up for, for Princess or uh, two and a half months later, three months later, you sign up for, for the springtime surprise or late in November, you sign up for Wine and Dine. Do you still get the coast to coast? Those are the kind of questions that haven't been answered yet. So those are the kind of things that we're going to wait for. Is there going to be an extra fee for coast to coast? There never has been, but I don't know what Disney is going to do right now. But uh, that's your coast to coast. So again, it's um, running in each opposite coast. So California and Florida in the same calendar year. As long as you finish a run in each side, you get you qualify for the coast to coast medal, which is an extra medal that they give you. Uh, in past uh, past races, they always gave it to me in California, and um, I picked it up at the very end. They, there was a band that they gave you uh, when at the expo. You went when you uh, when you picked up your your bib. They gave you that extra band at the very end. It, people with that band got the extra medal, and so that's the way it worked. Again, I don't know how it's going to work. We will find out. Maybe they, they'll let us know soon. Maybe they'll let us know later. But uh, uh, but that's something that we got to look forward to. So now we go to my predictions of what's going to happen. As far as the theming is concerned, I think they're going to stick with the Disneyland. And I do believe that the marathon will be the classic Disney D, something to do with a hundred year anniversary. Maybe it's going to have a spinner or something on the, the lanyard where it's going to say a hundred years. But I do believe they're going to stick with that. I think they're going to keep it simple. I don't mind the Dumbo Double Dare. I have a medal of Dumbo Double Dare, and it was actually pretty cool, very colorful as you can see. So I wouldn't mind that. But it's gonna there's going to be a Double Dare, and again, I think it's going to be themed uh, Disneyland. For the expo, we are going to be able to tell a little bit more if they continue with the virtual queue that they might do virtual queue for the expo. And again, I'm, I'm more to think that as of now, they're going to lean towards that, towards a virtual queue when it comes to the merchandise. But uh, again, that things can change. Uh, I might be doing a video in a few months saying, wow, yeah, you know, it's going to be interesting because they changed the whole, the whole thing. But we'll find out. But at least for now, I'm going to guess that they're going to stick to a virtual queue for the expo. The prediction for the prices is going to be that it's going to be about 10%, uh, uh, within 10%, give or take of what I had stated earlier. So be prepared for that. For four, the course, I think they're going to run through Disney, uh, the the um, the stadium at Anaheim. So the California Angels Stadium, I think that's what they're going to do. That's what they've historically done for the Disneyland. But uh, again, they could change it depending. But I also think to myself, uh, the reason that they haven't uh, opened up another run at Disney, uh, in California, I should say, is because they're still maybe not 100% uh, communicating with the city of Anaheim. So um, the easiest thing to do is to run on your own property. So if you can get to your property, which is the California Angel Stadium, um, that's gonna be the easiest thing. So that's what I think we're gonna run. That's what we're gonna run through. And for coast to coast, since it's such a weird thing, I think they're gonna, they're gonna do something that's gonna appease everybody. Um, they will have rules, so that should be coming up soon. And I think that if they're going to do something where you only do coast to coast, if you do the marathon weekend and then the, uh, the Walt Disney World Marathon weekend, then the Disneyland half marathon, you need to tell people that up front because people are going to register for that. And let's say you, you later on announce something and people have, have uh, signed up for another Disney World run and expecting that. And then you announce it later that you had to have run the, the Disney World Marathon weekend. Uh, you're going to get a big backlash. So I don't see Disney doing that. 
So I think they're going to find a way to make sure that if you sign up for the Disneyland runs, you might have to pick and choose. Uh, I, I, I plan to, uh, to do this or later on, you know how we can update our registration later on. You're going to be able to log in and say, yes, I've registered for this one, this one, this one. So all you're going to do is whenever you go to the expo at Disney World, once you finish, uh, you know, they might do the band. Uh, they might just give it to you. You know, again, they, they, they've done a lot of stuff lately on the, um, you know, the merit system. So they, you can just show up and say, hey, here's my, my finisher stuff for, for Disneyland. And, and I'm signed up for, for uh, Wine and Dine. And they're going to say, all right, here's your Coast to Coast medal. So that might do that, uh, but I think they're not going to just make it Disney World, Disneyland. Uh, so that's that. So with that said, guys, are you excited about Disneyland coming back? I know I am. Uh, I've been looking again through videos and stuff at the very end. So pretty soon I'm going to put up the medals, all the medals that you can get. And it's going to be from all four different runs that they had at Disneyland. Starting with, I'm going to start off with the Disneyland marath uh, half marathon medals. So you'll see those from the years different years uh, you'll see Star Wars you'll see Tinkerbell and you'll see Avengers and so I, I hope this has been a, a video that kind of uh, shows you a little bit of what to expect at the Disneyland uh, runs I love them I did at least one see uh, one a year I think one year I did two but besides that I would only st I stick to one a year uh, the uh, West Coast is just a lot harder for me to get to than the East Coast is but uh, they were a lot of fun. So guys, can you do coast to coast? That's gonna be something that's gonna come up in your mind. And just FYI guys, uh, most of the years that I did them, I actually would do the Disney World half marathon. Then a week later, Star Wars was, the light side was at uh, California. So I did them right away. So I, I ran one week in, in uh, Florida and the next weekend I was in, in California running and I was fine. Um, We'll go over, should you run during that week, should you not, later on, once you get registered, and we'll go from there. But guys, guys, keep being yourselves. You guys are amazing. You guys keep messaging me with questions, asking me whatever you want to. Guys, don't be, uh, don't be ashamed to, to reach out to me. Don't be shy to reach out to me. Anybody knows me, I, I'll chit-chat with anybody. I'll try to help out as many people as I can. Uh, guys, keep being you, and you're the reason that this channel exists. Guys, thank you very much. As usual, create a magical day, create a magical run, and see you sooner than later.